Hello everybody, what you're about to see is a demo that I wanted to push harder than what I could, but I'm having some issues, but so be it. Uh, I'm going to run an OpenGL demo, um, and I'm going to run it on five VMs at the exact same time. So here I go launching the demo. We'll go back to our first VM. And the reason I'm doing this is I've done previous videos of... Uh, this is an, another NVIDIA Grid demo. I'm running uh, K2 in a, in its K200 mode, which I will probably explain. Um, and uh, the K200 mode is the most scalable mode. It's supposed to be eight VMs per card. And as you can see here in the background, I'll pull that one up first since that one loaded first. Uh, it's spinning really good. It's because one VM is running at this, at this time. As more VMs come online and start using the card, it's gonna start slowing down. Um, I wanted to get to the full eight, uh, but I just couldn't do it uh, as much as I tried. Uh, so we're stuck with five VMs for the time being. Um, if you see this video, it means I never got to eight. Um, I'm just going to try to make it so you can at least see a part of all of them um, at the same time. There's another one there. So I know it's going to be cutting off on your side, but hopefully you're getting at least an idea that they're all doing something right now. Uh, I have them doing the exact same test, OpenGL test. And uh, at 5 VMs, it's actually not too bad, um, considering the amount of rendering that's going on right now. Um, something to know about the environment is uh, this is all running off of one server. Um, so CPU bound uh, or CPU issues are, are bound to be something that come up. Uh, I don't want to script the test right now, but you got to imagine they're all probably sharing um, a single processor. My server only actually has a single processor. I think it's about eight cores um, in that process. And you know what? It might be four cores. Um, let me bring that up on another screen. Uh, gen server uh, search. What do I got? I can see that uh, the processing power on all these guys is pretty high. I've given each uh, user here, each VM, two cores. They're running at two gigs of RAM each. Um, and again, I did that because this is the K200 mode. This is not meant to be um, the strongest mode in the world. This is meant to be a, a more scalable mode. And the reason I want to go to eight is because if you're running a K200, you're expecting it to go to eight. And so here we start to see it uh, the frame rate is dropping considerably as these higher uh, loading images are going. Um, obviously, the more VMs running it to the total of eight, the more it's going to drop, which is why I wanted to push this test all the way to eight, but I'll, all I could get is five. In any case, the RAM's about 75% used on all five machines right now. The CPU's between 50 and 75% used on all machines right now. Uh, general performance overall, my server right now, uh, keeping in mind I have one, two, three, four, five. It shows 12 uh, CPUs. It must be six CPUs, and then hyper-threading would be my guess. Um, or sorry, six cores and probably hyper-threading to give an illusion of 12 cores. Um, in any case, I can see that my performance on the server itself at this point in time is running at about 60% uh, the entire CPU being used. So if I were to get to eight, um, the CPU probably would be maxed out at 100, which that's okay for a single processor. Um, so what I could potentially do then is double up this workload. I could put a second processor in my box. Um, and right now I'm only using half of the K2 card. Um, that's the other trick to this whole mess is that um, in the with the K2 card it actually has two PCIe buses. Um, so I'm only using one half of the bus right now. And there's our final score. Pretty darn good. All right, I'm impressed. So there they go. Score pretty, pretty evenly. Let's take a look. Wow. All right, that's impressive.